Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 47 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emoziwa Gamer. So in the last episode I finished, ooh almost died there, I finished uh, placing all of the wires, replacing everything with the better wire. And I was having a problem emptying these battery, like having them properly, uh, properly emptying. And I did some research and basically this is the better setup because I think that there's no uh, real big limit as to how much power can be pushed into these HV capacitor. The way I've done this is that this has an input on this side and an output on the top. This one has an input on the bottom on this side and an output at the top. And this one has an input at the bottom and on this side and an output on all of these sides because these cable can carry 40 or 30,000 RF, something like that. But these uh, connectors are limited to four, uh, 4 4.1 as you can see RF each. But if you take four and bring them to a relay, then they can come here and they can bring it to the AF transformer. I'm not 100% sure about that. I have to do some metric and testing. Uh, I'll get to that later and I'll spend more time rearranging my power, do the same thing on the other side and everything, but I haven't had time to do all of that. Now I also made sure that my system was primed properly. So now as you can see, let me grab a bucket. I have some uh, 100, uh, 103 bucket of uh, diesel. I got a, about 200 bucket of gasoline that I don't know what to do with and I got some lubricant. Now this gasoline uh, it's going to be a problem when this fills up. So either I'm going to break it to let it refill or I'm going to have to empty it into a void system or just double this for the time being. But that's not present for the moment. See, the pump jack is now working super well because we have enough power and everything gets processed really nicely. Finally, I started working on an island over here. I don't know what I need it for now, but... I wanted to start working for the next setup that I was going to do and I want to rearrange my forestry but that's not for today. So I brought power here also and the beauty of bringing power here is that look my mutagen is always full and it's no longer a limitation uh, the power it's producing as much mutagen as possible. As part of my research though I found that the mutagen product uh, production is a hundred millibucket for the um, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to keep one of those. 100 milli bucket for the redstone, but it's way more for the um, glowstone. It's 200, it's double. So I'm going to go and grab some glowstone, but I'm going to show you a little problem that I have on the way because we're going to need some redstone today. And I'm having an issue that I've reported but it seems to be something that technically I'm the only one having and I'm thinking that it's because of my lag. It's explained by my lag. So when I want to make some redstone, what I would do before is I would just come here and dump 64, a stack of blaze powder and a stack of gunpowder. If I do that now, uh, I get a problem that I want to try to show you. I just want to make sure that I'm not wasting any res uh, too much resource. So if I put the gunpowder first, I get blaze powder, which is not what I want. If I put the blaze powder first and then the gunpowder, and I got a little lag spike again, i really getting desperate about the lag. I've tried doing multiple things. One of those things has been reinstalling. I've also tried uh, changing the settings, but it's not going super well. So this one worked completely. Now let's do the next one. Eight. It really doesn't help if I do the wrong one first though. <laughs> so let me grab all of that and some more redstone. So let's try again. Let's put that. So eight and eight. More redstone. Is this not filling up? So this is not filling up. So I'm going to move to the next one. Eight and eight. Nope. No problem. Eight and eight. Still no problem. Well, trying to prove you there's a problem doesn't really work if I can't prove it to you. So let's do 16 and 16. Yeah, maybe it's something that they fixed. So technically what was happening is that as this was exploding, there was a problem where at some point 
uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, gunpowder was transforming into blaze powder and not everything into redstone. So, well, I guess it's kind of fixed and I'm going to be happy about that, but it just feels weird because this was a really big issue in the last episode and I just couldn't produce what I needed. As for the glowstone, we're going to need a bit more than that. So I'm just going to come back here and I'm going to transform some, well, not transform, sorry, I'm going to make more. So let's come right here and just duplicate some. I love the duping and I can't wait to have the chicken so that I don't need to do this. The chicken are going to be amazing. We're, we're going to get there fairly soon, hopefully. But the good thing about the chicken, what the chicken is going to do to us is that it's going to give us um, quartz, redstone, glowstone, like all of that good stuff. Let's push it to the right one. If I'm going to do this, at least let's let's push it to where I want to be able to do some transformation. Uh, you know what? It seems to be blocked though. Let's, let's not take any chance and let's put it to this middle one. So that it goes everywhere. Anyway, let's continue with the bees. So today is bees, 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 and we're finally going to be uh, reproducing the bees. Uh, well, transforming them into the type of bees that we need. I'm also going to grab some tin because we're going to make some upgrades. So let's go back here and well, I forgot to keep a pump. So let me grab a pump right here. One pump. I'm going to want to start mute, uh, doing the mutations. So I'm going to grab the advanced mutatron and I'm going to put it there. The reason you put it there is that it gets, um, nope, not you, you. It pushes, the mutagen producer pushes the mutagen right here. So we're at 2.6 millibucket, which is really not a lot, but right here you can see now, this is no longer a problem in, uh, in power. So this is working max power. Now I also want to connect this. So let's put a wire right here, like so. So this is also powered. And now I want to push this remainder of mutagen. Oh, I didn't break it. I want to push that remainder in the advanced mutatron because I need it. So let's push it in there. And now 3.4 bucket, and this is empty. So I can all remove that now and work. So we're going to get started. And let, let me explain to you how this whole thing worked. So let me get rid of this mystical queen and mystical drum. We want it to make some common bees first, some common princess. To make a common princess, you basically need any type of base princess. So a forest or a meadow or in like a wind tree and stuff like that. And a drone of the other type of of any other type so a forest princess and a meadow drone is going to give us what we want so we push a forest princess here and a meadow drone here and i think it's going to be a thousand one bucket you select common queen and it makes the common oh I'm, i forgot the genetic labware let me grab the not that the genetic labware it also needs the genetic labware to work so it's going to use one bucket each transformation is one bucket which is kind of expensive and now we have a common queen i'm going to put the next one because i i know that i need a second queen the problem is you know what let me just grab that one i can't put a queen here for the next level of transformation you need a princess and there are three level of bees there are queen princess and drones usually in an apiary you put a princess and a drone to get some produce. What you never really notice, I, well, I never really noticed it, and I'm gonna show it after, but if you put a princess here and a drone there, this thing works really quickly, and the one of the drones disappear, and here the princess becomes a queen. And what happened is that a queen gets processed, and it transforms into a princess and two drones, plus a chance of a product. Oh, sorry, not that. So the chance of a product, if I come here for a common, is a honeycomb, 35%. And the chance can be improved. <laughs> I say that and I get one first try. 
So the chance can be improved if you have a production upgrade right here. See the production upgrade? Production plus 20%. Imagine if I had eight in there, like that would be really amazing. And that's what we're going to be doing for the tropical princess. So the tropical, if you remember, it was saying too humid, uh, too hot and too dry, uh, too cold and too dry. That's because they need a jungle upgrade. So I'm going to build the jungle emulation upgrade. The lifespan upgrade uh, makes this go faster. So I want to make three more and we're going to make the eight production upgrade as soon as we can. So 8, 9, 10, 11, and this one 12. We want to create 12 more uh, upgrades. We can't make the production upgrades yet because we need the uh, royal jelly, but we're going to get to it. So let's start here. We need 12 of these. <laughs> okay, that could not have to work better. I'm really happy with that. Now we're going to need three lifespan upgrade, which means we need some spider eyes. Uh, six sugar, six spider eyes, and we need some mushrooms. So let's go get some shrooms from back here. Oh, I'm going too fast. How much are those? How much did I get? Five. Really? Oh, the other one fell back. Okay, good thing, because we need six. So let's come back here and let's make these upgrade. So... The life span upgrade, fermented spider eyes, grab all of those, and then we can make the three lifespan upgrade. And then the jungle one, we want some bronze gear. I need five, one, two, three, four, five. Then I need the climate control. So one of those. Then I need the environmental processor. Oh, I need four lapis. And oh, I'm going to need to clean some lapis soon. I only have four left. So let's continue with the environmental processor. One, and then we should be able to do... No, I need some... I need some vine. That's very easy. I just need some shears. And go to my jungle tree right here and grab some of them. Oh, I'm also going to need some ferns. How do you get fern again? Fern is huh, with grass. Okay, so I'm going to need some fern. Let's look back at what's the other thing that I wanted. I was building the upgrade. So let's do the search on the upgrade again. I'm going to have to come back for the grass. So let's go back here and let's produce the next upgrade. Now that we have the two vines, this is the jungle upgrade. I don't need that one immediately, as you saw, because we're not going to uh, we're not going to be making the, uh, the royal jelly soon. Well, I say soon. We're we're gonna get to it in this episode for sure. And what did I push in here? I pushed my liquid pump, which I want to keep. Uh, where's the liquid pump? Wow, I'm just oh right here. I'm just blind tonight. Okay, so. What's the next thing? I'm going to get rid of the tin. The next thing that I need is some bone meal. Do I have any bone meal anywhere or am I losing my time searching for bone meal? And this is a waste of time. Let's just make some more bone meal. It's one of the cheapest thing. And we have the first little lag spike of the recording. This is really annoying. I, I wish I had no lag, but there's nothing I can do. Um, leave a comment if you think that I might, I should start a different series. I'm not going to drop this one. I want to finish it for sure. But what I'm thinking is potentially starting a different series so that I can alternate the episode between the two. Because I'll be honest with you guys, it's really annoying um, having the bad recording and having the lag spike all the time. And it makes me feel like I, sometimes I spend more time fiddling with my settings and actually recording so until they come out with a fix it would give me a way of working on something else or that's not the one i want i want the transformation one right here and the reason i'm wow i could only make one so the reason i'm making that is that um hello just grab my experience well this is so weird uh, the reason I'm making the fern, fern is for the jungle uh, bees, the tropical bees. The tropical bees need a fern. So now that we've done all this, let's come back here. 
I'm going to place a fern down right here, which is not useful right now. Gonna put the three lifespan upgrade in there to try and accelerate the process. This is taking so long. And voila. So you see now I have. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna remove the automation upgrade for the time being. So now I have a common princess and two common drone. I'm going to push the next princess and uh, queen in there because I need this one to break down and it should break down. Now that we have the common princess and the common drone, I can use a common princess in here. And again, any type of other drone. So let's grab a forest drone and a common princess. Let's just right click a common princess with any other type of common well, basic drone is going to give us a cultivated queen. I'm going to push that in and I'm going to say, give me my cultivated queen and look at that sweet, sweet mutagen. This is working really well. But now that we have a cultivated queen, we need to transform that into a cultivated princess. So I'm going to wait for this common queen because I need this common queen to become a common princess to make the next level, which is going to be a noble, noble queen. And while we're waiting for this, let me show you the steps. So basically we need what, what we're trying to get is royal jelly. Okay. So to get royal jelly, you get it from an imperial at 15% chance, which is very low, but that, that's what it is. The imperial is made from a noble and a majestic. So we're going to need a majestic. A majestic is made from a noble and a cultivated. So I'm going to need two noble queens, uh, two noble princess, because one, let's go back, one is going to be lost here to make an imperial, and one is going to be lost here to make a majestic. I needed a cultivated because I need a cultivated drone, not a cultivated princess. The noble princess is made from a common and a cultivated drone. So as you can see, if I need to make two noble, I'm going to need two common princess, two cultivated drone. And for the majestic, I'm also going to need um, a cultivated drone. So I'm going to need three cultivated drones. So this one's done. Let's put the cultivated in here now. And I'm going to need another common princess. I miscounted when I check my things quickly. So another forest princess and another meadow drone. I'm gonna come back right here, put that in here and say, give me another common. And I'm already going to put the common in here for the next operation because now I'm just waiting for my cultivated to make some noble. So I'm waiting for this one to be broken down. See with the lifespan upgrade, it goes much faster. The problem is I would have preferred a bar that just goes slowly up so that you can see but what it does is it jumps like it's going to go from 50 i think to 66 or 75 and then it's going to go on another jump and you just have to wait for it like for the time being there's really nothing much i can do other than to wait and like i said i took the automation upgrade out because what the automation upgrade does is that it puts them back in here so perfect i have these two i'm going to start breaking down this common princess uh, the common queen, sorry. And then I'm going to come and put two cultivated drone here and see now I can make diligent or noble. I don't want diligent in my case. I need two noble. So we're going to start with the first noble. And then, huh? no, I, I almost made a mistake. <laughs> Perfect. Because I, like I told you, we need three cultivated drone. So if I don't reprocess that to do, double the drones again, then I would be out of drone and I would have to make another queen to get some more cultivated drone. Because if I introduce another, like another type of bee drone in there, there's a chance that it's going to transform my princess into something else, which is not a chance that I want to take right now. So we still have to basically be waiting, which is kind of an annoying part of the bees. And one of the reasons I said I wanted to get into other things at the same time, because now the industrial apiary is really my bottleneck. I could have crafted two or three of those, but like the crafting time and then all of the upgrade, it makes it a bit annoying. So I don't really want to waste that time. So let's start looking at the tinker quests. So if I go here into uh, a true blacksmith, first thing we do is we need grout. Grout is needed for making seared bricks with which you'll be able to make that many multi-block of tinker construct. Let me just check that again. 
So grout is a very simple recipe. I'm pretty sure most of you know it. Let's just look it up for people who don't. Grout is made of sand, gravel, and clay. And as you've seen in the previous episode, I'm sure you guys noticed. Oh, sorry. Just let me show you this. I'm going to put the drone in. When I'm going to put the drone in, it's going to progress the bar and the cultivated princess is going to become a queen. And then the bar is going to restart and then it's going to break down to make the queen into a princess and two drone. So see, bar progression. This one's really fast. Princess is going to become a queen and then the queen is going to break down into a princess and two drone. So in this case, I'm going to put the automation upgrade in because we're going to go and make some grout. And we want this to process a second time around. So in the last episodes, I've been producing clay and gravel and sand just so that we would be ready for that. So I'm going to grab one, two, three. You know what? It, it feels overkill. I'm going to grab one stack of sand, one stack of gravel, one stack of clay. And I'm just going to come here and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to make four stack. Oh, it grabbed some of the other material. So I'm going to make four stack. And why am I going to make four stack? Because that's what I can cook in one go. So let me just show all of this in here. And what I meant by that, if you remember the setup, oh, these are the furnace. So I can go grout, grout. And again, grout, grout. So I'm going to be cooking all of this. And that should be enough for our purpose. So this got discovered. The grout is going to cook into seared brick. So we'll just go check on the bees and we'll come right back to continue that after. So if we go back to the bees, uh, this one is broken down once. And the proof that it's broken down once is that the two drone came here. I'm going to grab this drone and one of them made a cultivated queen. The reason I'm grabbing this drone is that now I can come back here and I can put this one drone with this one common princess and grab a second noble queen. So now we have two noble queen to break down. Let's grab these two noble queen that we're also going to need to break down into princess. And this cultivated queen is going to give us a princess and two drone. So I'm going to remove that upgrade because now we have everything that we want. So let's put a noble queen in here and let that one transform and let's go grab one grout so that we can at least have the completion of that quest that we started. So let's come back right here. Some seared bricks. Et voila! We have one quest completed for Tinker. So let's grab that. Next step. Next step is the smell tree. The smell tree needs a seared tank, at least two seared brick, a smell tree drain, and a smell tree controller. So the two seared brick, if you guys have played with uh, Tinker before, you know that's not enough. We're going to need way more than that because we need to form a proper multi-structure. So smell tree. Let's start with the uh, tank. So let's craft one seared tank and another lag, lag spike. But we're at 20 minutes, so I should probably stop. Let, let's try and craft all of the items that we need here, and then we're going to um restart just to make sure we're clear so we need this we need a controller small tree controller so let's make only one and are you going really no okay so a small tree controller and then we need a what were the other one a small tree drain of course we need a small tree drain i usually you know what i'm going to make two small tree drain because i like to have two output I know we're going to need some faucet for those smeltry drains. So I'm going to make two faucet for the two smeltry drain. I'm going to make the casting table because we're going to need one casting table. I'm going to make a casting bas basin because you always need one, even though the quest doesn't ask for it. And everything else I'm going to transform into seared bricks, which is going to give me the two that I need. So now this quest should be completed. Perfect. Let's grab this loot chest. And oh, I'm too full. So <laughs> just for now, I'm going to put everything that's military related right here and the loot chest. And let's go back to the beast because I've spent a bit too much time away and my princess is ready. Oh, no, it's not. So this one takes longer to actually become a princess. 
I just wanted to be here to make sure that I wasn't going to miss it. I'm going to wait for this to tick once. And then, oh, 83. So let's look at the next quest. Now that this is done, the next quest is, I'm going to continue in this line, in this order. Next one is the Seared Furnace. The Seared Furnace is a large multi-block furnace powered by lava. So this is, it's a cool concept. I've used this a couple of times in other packs. And basically it becomes a giant, like a gigantic furnace where you push item into it and cooks it using lava. And it's just, it's one of those things that works really well. It's just, we're not making our metal this way in this pack. So I'm not sure it's going to be that useful. So now that we've put the second noble queen in here, uh, we can actually transform this one noble queen, uh, no, noble princess. So one noble princess and one cultivated drone is going to give us our majestic. And now that we have our majestic and we do have some noble drone, um, if you remember correctly, the majestic is going to be put, I need a majestic drone to go with our noble princess. So once the other noble princess is done, we're going to break down the majestic and the breaking down of the majestic is going to give us the next one that we need. While we're here, let's just push these comb in there so that they start processing and let's go back to our crafting. We're going to need some more of these seared bricks. So let's come right here. Oh, they're all done. So we should be able to do all of the crafting that we needed to do. So the next one is the seared furnace. So seared furnace seared furnace controller right here oh i need oh i'm out of cobblestone here that's that's kind of funny let's grab a couple of stack yeah that wasn't my best plan because i'm kind of full of everything else i'll just leave that on the ground put that all here and grab eight so now eight is going to be one furnace and one furnace with seared bricks around is going to make our seared furnace. Uh, we're going to need that. You know what? I'm going to set it up for sure. So let's craft another seared tank just because I know that this needs it. So seared tank like so because both need their own seared tank. And let's transform those into seared brick. And because we needed 24 and I'm going to make... You know what? I'm just going to make what I need in case we need to craft other things. So the seared furnace is now done. I'm not going to put it down now. I'm just going to throw everything in here again. And now we're going to look at the next quest. So the next quest is either smart casting or tinker tech. So let's look at smart casting first. For automating the smeltery, you are going to need a smart output. Be careful though, it's really fast. Okay. So let's look at what we need to craft a smart output. Smart output, like this. Oh, I need ice and seared stone. Okay, so I need to set up my smell tree to be able to do that. And the ice, how do I make ice in this game? A project E ring, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Mana infusion of a snow block. Yeah, perfect, so that's how we're going to do it. Let's push this in here for now and let's go look at our bees again. I would have preferred not setting up the smell tree tonight. So let's grab this and put the majestic queen, which is going to bring us to our last step to craft the imperial, which is going to get us our, hopefully, our first royal jelly. This is taking a long time. So while we're waiting for this, let's see... Mr. Snowman is gone, so I can easily make another snowman, so this is not a big... Whoa. Like I was going to say, it's not a big deal because I have all of the material to make another one. Let's just grab all of these uh, snowball for now. And that's going to make four snow... Uh, snow blocks, sorry. And I can go back there and put the four snow block into the, let's get rid of this as we go by, into the processing here to get some ice. And I'm going to try to rechange this binding. It doesn't want to bind there. You know what, let's just put it there. This is really ridiculous, but it seems to be the only thing I can do with it right now. And we're going to grab 
a tablet, which is what I did not want to have to do. But this is going to be simpler. It's basically just being blocked like this cannot have a straight line to there. So because it cannot have a straight line, it's not doing it properly. So let's just grab this right now. And then we're going to output it here. And because of that, we're able to do this. Let's put the rest in here if we can. I'm just going to grab it back because I don't want to leave these things lying around and have them despawn. That would be a, a bit sad. I should have brought some glowstone at the same time. Save some time and do both. So let's just put some more in here. Let's get rid of the tablet. Another lag spike. By the way, I ended up not restarting because I had so little lag spike. But if I get another big one like this, I'm going to restart. So let's put this in here this in here and we can't craft the smart output because we need the seared stone and we don't have the seared stone yet because uh, we need to set up the smell tree but like i just said i don't want to set the smell tree in this episode i really want to concentrate on the bees so this is not broken down but we got some dripping comb and dripping comb can be broken down into honey and honeydew so not anything interesting unfortunately i was hoping that it was going to have a a drop chance for royal jelly but that, that we're not that lucky they're just waiting for this one to break down and once this one is broken down i'm going to put my tropical queen in to break her down while we're uh, going to make our imperial princess so just one tick we're just one tick away from getting this working and by the way, that's going to let you see uh, the damage we're going to take because of that uh, princess. Oh, well, that queen. So let's grab all of this and... Huh, four drum. That seems kind of weird. Let's put the jungle emulation, which works. And now you see the poison coming. Oh, I was able to back away before it hurt me. Well, good thing. So let's come back here. Now we need a noble princess and a majestic drone. To get an Imperial. And we're good on Mutagen. This is not a problem. This is amazing. So we got our Imperial Queen. And that's not a quest, unfortunately. If I come back here. Bees, bees, bees. No, it's not. The Royal Jelly is not even a quest. It's basically we wanted to do this just to be able to get the... Um, uh, just to be able to get the royal jelly so i'm gonna let that tropical queen break down but then i'm going to want to push that one in and now i regret starting this so now since i don't need these in my hand i'm going to get rid of noble drone cultivated princess majestic majestic drone i'm gonna get rid of all of this the next bee that we want to make so now i need some phosphor if I look here, I want some Phosphor, and for the wax, I'm still needing some Refractory Wax and some Magic Wax. So let's look at the wax first. And if you remember last time, the Refractory Wax is something that we get with a Simmering Comb or a Molten Comb. And the Simmering Comb is good because it's also what's going to give us our Phosphor. So the Simmering Comb, you get 45% chance with a Sinister, or 55% chance with a Fiendish, and 45% chance with a Demonic. And the demonic can give you glowstone dust. So I'd like to do the demonic. But to do a demonic, you need a sinister and a fiendish. And if I come back this way, the sinister, the fiendish is made from a sinister and a cultivated. So just to start, I would need to make two sinister. So if I come back here, the sinister is made with a cultivated and a modest. Or a cultivated and a tropical. So, for the cultivated, again, this is a two-step process. If you remember, we're going to need to make another common. Uh, so, let's grab a forest and let's grab a meadow drone. So, this is going to give us a modest. Um, not, not a modest, sorry. A, a common. So, this is going to give us a common that we're going to have to break down. And then the common we're, common we're going to make into a cultivated. And then the cultivated into a fiendish. And oh, we got our first silk comb. And if you remember, the silk comb is what we need to put in the centrifuge to get some silky propolis. 
And then the silky propolis is what we put in. Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Let's break down the Imperial Princess for now. This is too hot, so we'll just remove that. Uh, so the silk comb is something that breaks down into silky propolis, uh, propolis, sorry. And silky propolis is something that breaks down into uh, silk wisp with again a 60% chance. So this is kind of low, but this is how we're going to get. Oh, and by the way, remember when I was saying that the tropical gives a bad aura and something bad? Well, the imperial gives a good aura. And when you're close to it, you get regeneration for four, for a second. And because I'm close, it's going to hit me with the regeneration again for four every time that it goes through a tick. So let's go back here and look at the centrifuge. Oh, it's out of power. Uh, let me grab right here. I'm afraid that I might be taxing my power system, but uh, that's why I made it. That's why we couldn't get to work on this. It be we needed the power to be able to do all of that. Oh, no, it's not taxing it. This seems really good. Okay, so now uh, we're still waiting to break down our common. We're going to need a common to become a cultivated let's look at the finish again the refractory wax i just lost the track that's one of the things with the bees sometime you end up losing the track of what you're trying to do so i want to make at least a fiendish which is kind of easy because a fiendish is a sinister with a cultivated and we have cultivated or even a sinister with a tropical or a modest wow and the sinister is a cultivated with a modest so now we need this common queen needs to become a cultivated so i'm just going to wait for this one to finish breaking down and hopefully i'd get a jelly the first try so that i could put a production upgrade because as you can see having a production upgrade in there is going to be a game changer for uh, all of the product that we need i'm just waiting for this to finish and this is taking a while so let's go back to the tinker for now so if we go back to a true blacksmith, which is a back, I know it's a back and forth, but ha, ah, good thing I didn't get rid of all of my thing. So the Tinker Tank is a large multi-block tank that can store multiple fluids at a time without them mixing. So that's a really cool system. Another type of game where you don't have alchemy and where you're producing everything through blocks breaking down and a smeltery, that's one of the blocks that I usually always want to make because it's really... Uh, it's really amazing how you can put all of the fluid in there. Let me just check the real name. We want a Tinker Tank controller. So let's just say Tinker Tank controller right here. And that's with a bucket. Perfect. And then we want some seared glass, which is really easy to make. Also, how many do I need? I need seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Let's keep all of that. I'm going to keep any seared brick that I can for when we're going to need them. And that's another quest completed. Like I said, the Tinker is way easier than all of the other ones. Although I haven't done any of these metal in a long time. So some of them might be quite harder. So now we've unlocked the Forge. Now that you have seared bricks, you can craft a tool forge and with it make advanced tick tools. So what is a tool forge in this pack? Sometimes they change it and sometimes they make it really expensive. So the tool forge is seared bricks or seared stone or seared cobblestone. Oh, I can use the brick and electrical steel block. Wow. Okay, so this one they made expensive. How do I get electrical steel ingot? Electrical steel ingot. Okay, not this way. Let's see if there's any easier way. Molten electrical steel. Oh, arc furnace. So I could make the arc furnace. Although if I make the arc furnace, I might need these things that I don't know how to get. And I got another big lag spike. But this episode, I'm about to end this episode soon. So I'm just going to roll with it. Do you want to quickly see how do I get the steel dust? No easy way. Yeah, of course. No easy way. How do I get 
is there any other way so it would be the arc furnace or the molten electrical steel and you get molten electrical steel is there any way of creating it as an alloy basically as an alloy is when you mix two things together and no there doesn't seem to be an alloying recipe so we're going to have to make the arc furnace hmm I really didn't want to have to make this but we're gonna to have to make the arc furnace and I'm gonna prepare all of the material in another time in a time lapse again so let's come back here we have wow mind-blowing lucky so let's come back right here and let's look at the upgrades upgrades and production upgrade I'm gonna need one bronze gear so let's make no two because uh I'm gonna need eight let's do all eight right now for later and I'm gonna need some sugar I'm gonna need at least eight sugar so let's grab you know what oh that's four I, too bad let's let's make all of it into sugar for now let's come back here and let's make these production upgrade haha -ha. I'm so happy about that so let's show this back in here and oh that's also the automatable apiary quest completed so that's a good thing let's come back here and put this in here and let's push what's our next we needed to break down this queen so let's break down this common queen and let's go claim that other quest the tool forge is going to have to wait until we have the arc furnace so bees automatable apiary is completed let's claim that back and now we have a lot so the silk from the bees the silk wisp well we already know now that we have a better production it's those silky comb and this is kind of a weird thing where you need to have a comb in it to process the next one so you always want to have a like either more of those silky comb which this one was unlucky we got nothing we didn't get a silk wisp so that's what one of the big reason why why we wanted the production upgrade and why we would want eight because we're going to need to go through a lot of these combs why are we going to need to go through a lot of these combs because we're going to have to make the beekeeping ab uh dress and the beekeeping dress it's a normal armor so it's 24 piece of not silk wisp 24 uh, piece of silk um mesh which is nine each or eight each so it's a really long thing to make Oh, another big log spike. I really wanted to complete this, but so that's what I was saying with the production upgrade. We're going to up the chances of getting output. Now I'm just waiting to make this into a cultivated. And then with the cultivated, I'm going to use the tropical drone because I already have one left here. I'm going to use the tropical drone to make a, a fiendish and then we're going to test our fiendish princess a uh, queen because anyway we have to break down the queen so one more tick and we should be good with the common queen so the common queen is four tick of the industrial apiary I'm just waiting for this and oh, i love my imperial drone i won't be able to put the imperial princess in there because i need to put the jungle one but you know what i'm thinking that maybe depending on how much time I have in my time lapse, maybe I'm going to make a second industrial apiary so that I can have one working on my Imperial Princess while I have another one working on my Tropical Drone because I'm the Tropical Drone has go, is going to have to be a priority. And now it's just, I'm just, I really tempted the devil. I should have just gone ahead and made all of like the the reset when i said i was going to so let's put the where's my common princess right here oh come on I, i'm gonna have to stop i won't have a choice so common princess with a forest drone is going to give me the cultivated which is going to be super fast i'm going to put this here for the next production and another lag spike it's just one after another so i'm, I'm gonna have to end the episode there I'm going to just make that and the I'm just going to explain one last thing I'm going to put the cultivated queen in here and I'm going to explain the last thing because it's going to uh, let you know what I'm going to be doing in my time lapse 
So if I come back here, I've explained that I needed the uh, simmering comb, and that's why we're working toward a fiendish... I, I can't back. That's why I need a fiendish one. And it's also going to give us the phosphor. But there's another wax that we need, which is the magic wax. And if I look at the magic wax... Oy. There's really, like... It's just... I got to the point where now it's just non-stop lag, so it's going to make the explanation really hard. Which I thought that if I could just load, I could at least show you uh, magic wax. And again, I'm really sorry guys, I, I screwed up, I should have restarted. But I just want to finish this episode quickly, so please bear with this terrible, terrible quality. And I'm going to be very careful, set myself a timer, and not do this in the future. So for the magic wax, there's all these combs that can do it. The mundane comb has a very low drop rate, so <coughs> we could use that. <coughs> Sorry, but there's also temporal, this one, this one, the otherworldly comb. And the otherworldly comb is something that gets dropped from the supernatural with a 25% chance. But look what it also drops. Unusual pollen. And why is unusual pollen important? Because it makes the bee collector jar. <coughs> so if I look at my quest line, oh, if I look at my quest line, I need to complete this with a jar. So that's why I want to get there. And to make that supernatural princess, I need to go through, I'm not going to show it on the GEI because it's going to lock again. But I need, for Supernatural Queen, I need a Charm Princess with an Enchanted Drone. The Enchanted Princess is done with an Eldritch Princess and a Charm Drone. The Charmed Queen, because now we need a Charm Princess and a Charm Drone, the Charmed is made with a Cultivated and an Eldritch, and the Eldritch is made with a Mystical and a Cultivated. So I'm going to need one more cultivated, at least two more. So I'm going to, in my time lapse, make sure that I breed two more cultivated. Uh, and as you can see, that the cultivated is two common. Well, I'm going to make two common, and those two common are going to be made into two cultivated. And I'm also going to be working on maybe a little bit of rearrangement here, and I liked again, and some more cleanup all over my base because I want to arrange things for thinker. I want to finish that island in the back there so that I can build my tinker setup. So I'm going to end on this and I'm going to go into my time lapse, prepare for tinker, so that in the next episode we can continue with bees and we can continue with tinkers. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!